our, mm -hmm. our channel, my channel, she's been singing along to whatever she's been watching, Frozen, I think. So she's humming right in the camera side. She's already opened her package. And now she's just too in the camera, Sophie. Too close to the camera. Is she got a unicorn? It's a duck unicorn. It's a duck unicorn. I don't know what she's going to call it. She calls the ones with wings alicorns. And there's a box full of Smarties. Is she Smarties? <laughs> oh dear. Now she's happy. She's going to run away and probably get high on them. Okay. Ooh. Gosh. Be careful with this one. I just got stabbed. Well, this one rattled. So it wasn't, um, it wasn't going to be floss, which is what we normally get in these boxes. Please stop. But um, it's a stabby thing. Now I'm going to have to check whether or not there's actually a cover on these because they do normally come with covers. And I'm not sure if this one did because there's nothing in there. But it's a stitch picker or unpicker. Okay, and it's got a really good handle on it that's actually kind of like a thistle at the other end. You're going to get booted, Sophie, if you stop don't stop carrying on. This is gorgeous, and it's got a fair bit of weight into it as well. Yes, the joys of working with children and small animals. Oh my good lord, that has completely thrown off the mix. Oh my goodness, logistics with a five-year-old. Um, yeah, so be careful with this. You might get stabbed on day 12 if you haven't already opened yours. Um, also, be very, very careful using these gadgets when you're unpicking your stitches because these can slice through your fabric and then you end up with bigger holes than you're meant to have between your crosses. So please use these sparingly and wisely. Um, that's just my tip to you. These are brilliant as stitch pickers or unpickers um, with hems because you basically run them along the line of the hem in between both of the um, both of the faces of the fabric and the ball is supposed to go inside so it's not going to catch on the fabric and you basically just slice open the stitches. That's how they're supposed to be used. So please be very careful. These are sharp. So these will actually pick up a stitch like a needle will. Um, basically what I do when I um, frog, which is to rip it, rip it, rip it, for anyone who's not used to that term, I actually reverse stitch. So I actually pull out the stitching the direction it came from because I usually pick up that I've gone wrong within a couple of spaces. Either that or I will actually stitch over if I've, maybe jumped one too far, um, I'll just fill in the tiny gap because in the long run, you're not going to see the half stitch as opposed to a full stitch. So I'm not going to win any competitions doing that, but it saves the fabric being potentially torn and a, a lot more heartache if you do something like that because repairing a hole is not the easiest. Um, there are ways to do it. There are ways to put a patch up behind the fabric and then stitch through both of those layers. And um, that is certainly one thing that you can do. Oh, good Lord. The lighting is abysmal because of the glaring sun. I'm yellow. It's very weird. It's like the sun is just getting crazier. Um, and there we go again. It's color balanced. Oh, I know what it is. It's getting too much sun in just that spot. The joys of live recording, hey? Um, news today, it's hot. It is very, very hot. Um, tomorrow is going to be a stinker. So today I think is around about the 24 mark. Tomorrow is supposed to be 31. In Hobart, 31 is like, ick. Oh. And, and then the divas. Hello, you. What? Come here. Come here, Zach. Zach. Come here, show off. Yep. He'll sit in the sink and demand water. 
Probably. You coming up? Come on. Zach. What? Come here. Come on. He'll just talk to me instead. Are you coming up? There is almost competitions. Not quite. There's competitions. Here's Zach. Um, in the stitchy groups for whose cats are going to um, show up on the cameras because they all t seem to visit. Most, not, I mean, I suppose it's a bit of a generalization. Most people do have stitching companions, whether they're dogs or cats. Okay, down you go. Okay, please stop before there's an accident. Um, most people do have stitchy companions. I myself have the patamelons if I let them get close. Oh, good Lord. The lighting is driving me nuts. This is going to be a really short video because the brains of my tablet are also diminishing rapidly. Um, so yes, stinking hot day tomorrow. Um, school stuff to go and do and things like that. And um, yeah, I'm not sure what else we're going to get up to. Maybe um, picnic or something. I don't know. I um, went and bought some plant pot bases um, and some river pebbles or decorative pebbles, rocks, um, to put water in in the outdoor pen. So I'm going to go out and do that when the sun has diminished. See, hello, Zach. Hey, my poor boy is sick. Um, the vet said he's got gastrointestinal lymphoma. filming during the day um, and apparently it makes his inners a bit kind of unhappy so I don't know how much longer I've got with him um, so I'm enjoying most of the days I even got him an indoor water fountain and he's now started screaming at me for the water in the sink really dude I got you running water maybe it's not cold enough for him he's a funny boy he sits on my belly every morning so it's nice having them back inside. All right. I will talk to you tomorrow. I will probably try and steal some of Sophie's Smarties. And um, yeah, time to get dinner done. And then the Paddy's in from, from the um, outdoors where they've been playing all day. And trying to escape the sun there too. All right. Bye for now. Talk to you soon. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.